and then all war we have a total of 32 boxes to open today and then finally uh, the future ends here with a chance of premium cards which I don't know about anyone else but I've never ever seen anyone get premium cards from this no matter how many they've had to open and we only have 28 to open in this one today so with that being said uh, oh yeah. let's start with these ones as they always seem to be the lowest drop rates out of the three and see what we get always do it on the 25th because a Christmas and B because you know you do it the last day of the month some months it's 30th some 31st and then obviously February 28th or 29th occasionally so I always like to do it on the 25th I don't have a full roster so I don't always have all of the characters you'll see here this month missing sword master uh, missing Kingpin and Lady Sif and then missing Morbius characters either don't have fully built up or just don't have at all because they're you know uh, bio selectors from um, the store so yes let's start off by opening these and see oh before we do let's have a look in the inventory and see what we've got material wise so you can see Obviously with World Boss Legend, plenty of CCF with 3,905. Good amount of EOD, 8,000, but as may be the case for some people, I know people either seem to struggle with one or the other, EOD or TCP. Plenty of EOD, well not plenty, but enough. Uh, but very few TCP, only 718, so hopefully be boosting that a lot today. So, we're starting off opening up these boxes. So let's see what we get. Okay, 100 EOD. Start. Five star cards, trash. Another five star card, trash. Six star card, better but still not great. 100 TCP, that's okay, that's what we want. I'm not expecting to get a premium card, but I am hoping for a bit of TCP from these story boxes. Another six star card, but not premium. Five star card. Another five star card. And again. Six star card, but not premium. Five star, so we're not doing very well on the older tier three materials. As uh, we say that we get some more EOD, but only the one lot of TCP so far. It's mostly five star cards, as seems to be the case with most people. More TCP finally. Punisher card, EOD, another five star, okay we're down to the last seven now, let's see we're not getting anywhere really with these, as we expected.
There we go. Okay, so that was the uh, future ends here boxes. So didn't get anything there. So now we move on. Like I say, we have 32, and hoping for some. Obviously, looking for those Odin's blessings. And tier 3 materials, so let's see what we do with this lot. Hey, starting off with some TCP, good start, that's what we want more of. Ignore defense, which is one of the worst mythic Uru to get. Hey, we got one heal. Some EOD. Yeah, physical attack isn't the worst, I guess. Some more EOD. Crit damage. Another physical attack. Ooh, and our second Odin's Blessing, Steel. Physical attack, crit damage. That's a nice one to get. Thank you very much. More Titan component packs, we will take those all day long. More EOD. Oh, a, th a third Ed, wow. No, really giving out the Odin's Blessings. And the TCP. And a fourth. Physical attack crit rate, oh, very nice. Very nice. EOD. More TCP. We're having a lot of luck with this all war. Story fragments. Quick damage. I'll take that. Energy defense again. A lot of the six star ones, which aren't any good, will just be used when chances are up to reroll for hopefully more Odin's Blessings. More TCP. Recovery rate, no good. Hey, insight, energy attack, skill cooldown. Yeah, but it's fine. Some more TCP. EOD another crit damage taking its time attack speed really what we want well yo there's a good attack skill called and that's what six I think five or six so doing very well for Odin's Blessings. Some more EOD. Energy attack. Skill cooldown. Attack speed. So we've got a fair few six star Uru which are going to be re-rolled. And a fair few TCP and what? six Odin's Blessings so considering that we had like 32 boxes I'd say that's really good that's like one in five which is awesome so that's future ends here the all war like I say true shield we do daily so nothing special we never get anything obviously too special with the true shield because it's only the um, either awakened or just normal six star ISO so nothing too special, and now obviously hoping for maybe some TCP and EOD, but obviously what we really want is not the type enhancement tickets, but the CTPs. Uh, any, to be honest, insight would be good, because I really could do with some extra ones of those. I only have the one at the moment, which is on Valkyrie, so you could do with a couple of those. Put onto the likes of Colossus and White Fox. 
aside from that obviously looking for judgment and uh, rage would be good but we shall see if we get any okay type 4 not great but it's at least it's type 4 advanced I guess terrible I know Beast Mode and others have been talking before about having so many of these uh, type tickets it'd be great if you could at least you know roll them up combine them even if it's like you know 10 one stars into a two star etc because so many people are just going to be left with so many I think I've got all characters who are tier 2 at least at stage 2 so yeah gets to a certain point where you can't really use them anymore okay so far not doing too amazing so stage 2's and stage 1's and stage 3's alright first 10 down and no joy so far stage 3 advanced is not great either I'm hoping that we haven't used up all our luck already on the Odin's Blessings. Hey, there we go. Nice. CCP of Regen. Okay, okay. Feeling that. It's uh, it's not the best roll, but that's okay. Nice. We have our first CTP. And considering it usually works out around, what, 1 in 50, most people say? So... Hey, we've already got one. If we get another, that's just a bonus. Oh, Type 5 Advanced. Nice, nice, nice. That's another good one. So we've got two good pours now. Starting to warm up into it. Okay, let's see if we get any more. Ah, and then back down to Type 2. Type 4 Advanced. Ah, come on. Could really do with some Type 5 and Type 6. They're the ones that we do want, if any. If we have to get them. Ah, not Type 2 Advanced. Ugh, Type 4. At this point... Obviously the type enhancement tickets don't work on native tier 2s or native tier 3s. So when you get in 2 and 3 star ones it's like okay you've bolstered out all your Shadowland characters. What else can you really use them for? Okay, at least we're back with the getting the TCPs, that's good. At least that's something. We've got our one region. Love to get an insight. But we will take what we get. Okay, well at least we're doing pretty good on the uh, tier 3 materials, so... Ugh. Okay. Oof. Starting to slow down now. Now down into the last 20. Any chance of getting a second one is starting to look a bit slim. Our luck has all dried out. I guess we can't complain with the amount of Odin's blessings I got. And 
and some people get no CTPs from pulling a lot more boxes so getting a region instead of nothing can't complain okay now we're down into the last 10 will we get anything else come on let's go let's go let's go Oof. no a more TCP at least we're getting the TCP we need come on let's get one more one more one more big gun let's see that insight pop up baby come on last four fantastic four fabulous three Dynamic duo. Okay, and last pull. Okay, no dice, but okay. We uh, we didn't do too badly overall. So let's have a look. We managed to get. Well, you can see we got twelve one stars, fifteen two stars, six three stars, four stars, a bunch of two three and fours, and we've only got a couple now of the five star advanced type enhancement tickets and they're the only ones that are any good really the two three fours ones obviously not very good at all uh, so we got what are we on we started on seven eight thousand so we've got about 3,000 EOD, we only had 600 TCP, so we got nearly 4,000, so that's pretty good. Um, again, we got, you can see some we already had locked here, but we ended up with about six Odin's Blessings, so ooh, just make sure to lock those and obviously make sure to lock our region as well so you can see you don't have too many at the moment just the one rage two region couple of destruction couple of energy couple of authority and then some trash fodder so that's that so there we go that was our story fragment box opening for this month Hopefully you guys have some better luck elsewhere. I think I'm going to be taking that TCP and uh, we're going to be T3 in Ebony straight away. Yes, dance my little puppets. You see, I still don't have his latest uni. There we go. And hopefully we have enough time between now and whenever Ultron gets his uni to get back our 10 Universal books. If he's getting a tier 3 as well. If not, then obviously I don't need to worry about that if he's only getting a uh, transcendence maybe we don't know we'll have to wait and see but I think we'll be using the rest of the TCP on we have carnage want to finish him got to finish his gears and then get him to tier 3 and then again just waiting to see what happens in the upcoming updates of uh, Hawkeye and uh, Kate Bishop I want to get them built up and finished see what happens with those if they get anything for the Disney Plus show and then obviously waiting on Ultron okay so that is everything so thanks for watching take care and see you in the next one